What's up everybody and welcome back to my circle where I bring you guys behind the scenes and into my everyday life. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys one of the best pieces of marriage advice I've ever gotten. So grab your notebook and take some notes. Oh, I couldn't wait to share this one. Any moment, he will take you for waiting on it to walking in it. Cheers to no more surprise babies. <laughs> Regardless of what you're going through, it won't last forever. Our marriage is goals because you don't just fall into goals, you work for it. Bro, you build. And that's our story, and we're sticking to it. <laughs> you know, sometimes in life, the most unexpected people can leave the greatest impression on you, and that's what happened to me today. So I was at this Jeep dealership getting my uh, Jeep service today and I ran into this older guy, Mark, uh, who was visiting with his wife from Maryland uh, and he had a nice gladiator. So I complimented him on his gladiator and he comp complimented me on my Jeep. Uh, and we just started having conversation and he got into marriage and he said he and his wife been married for 46 years. Uh, so me being me, I always want to learn and just get wisdom from other people. I asked him like, uh, what's your best marriage advice? Uh, and he gave me three things that I wrote on this rock because I wanted to remember it and I wanted to bring it home. And I also wanted to remember that conversation because I thought uh, what he said was so true. And I thought what he said was when you meet somebody that's been married for so long, you have to understand uh, you're going to go through things together. And when you go through things, uh, you're going to come out on the other side and you're going to want to share with other people, uh, not just the good times, but the bad times as well. So uh, the first thing that he shared with me, which was I thought was good, uh, he said, forgive. Uh, he said, when you don't forgive, it's like handcuffing yourself uh, to an event or something that you want to move past. Uh, so the best thing that you can do with your spouse is to forgive. Uh, he said, you have to understand, like, it's not going to be easy and it's going to take time to build back that love, that trust and that respect. But that's the best thing that you can do for your marriage if you want to move forward in a healthy way. Uh, the second thing that he said, and I thought it was good, I wrote it down. Uh, he said, don't sweat the small stuff. Uh, he said, marriage is hard as it is, so you have to know which battles are not worth fighting. There's so many petty things that I think uh, drive a lot of people crazy, and they let it come between uh, them and their spouse. And uh, when he said that, it just kind of brought me back to something I said before, and that's understanding. When, when like stuff is happening with us, I have to kind of gather myself and remind myself it's not me versus my spouse. It's me and my spouse versus everything trying to come against us. So even these little petty things, like they may bother you, but if you don't open up your mouth uh, and, and speak and talk and just communicate with her in a way to let her know that, then she don't know that she needs to change these things. And many times, instead of just having these uh, these conversations about it, we just let it go uh, untalked about and we just let it bother us to a point where it kind of drives us off, off of edge. But uh, hearing him to say that today, like don't sweat the small stuff, don't let that drive a wedge between you and your spouse uh, was a great reminder for me. And just the little things, we always say you die by a thousand paper clips. The, the, the small stuff is the paper clips, the stuff that we let bother us and get to us until it make us do something irrational. So I love that. And the third thing that he shared with me, which I just thought was awesome, and I haven't heard this from anybody. So when he said this immediately, like I was like, you just tattooed some of my soul. I'm going to remember this to the day that I die. And I'm going to pass it on to my kids and they're going to continue to pass this on. Uh, he said, the thing about marriage, the longer you've been married, the more seasons you're going to go through. And he said, with that being said, like you have to build history together with each other. And when he said that, he kind of went into detail and he talked about everything that he and his wife has been through. Not just the good times, but the bad times, the ups and the downs, mainly the downs. He said, when you're in the downs, when you're in the bad times, you have to hold on to each other and you have to hold on to God. You have to draw closer to each other and you have to draw closer to God because this is where you're building history with each other. This is where you're remembering everything that you've been through before, how it came and it didn't last forever. It was temporary like everything. So when you go through these down, these valleys, these hard times, these bad times, you have to draw closer with each other because you're going to build that trust. You're going to build that foundation to continue to build your marriage on, to continue to, so that your kids can stand on. Uh, so when he said build history together, that's what we have to understand. I know we live in a culture right now where, you know, when things get tough, people want to give up and give in and quit. And, you know, there's some circumstances where people just have to get out of the marriage because it just 
uh, abuse or whatever the case may be. But you know, some things, the things that he's talking about is like, it's not these things. It's things that life is gonna throw at you anyway, whether you're single or divorced or married or whatever the case may be, it's just going to happen. So he said, these are the times where you have to draw closer to each other and understand like you may not be on the same page, but during these times is where you need to come together and get on the same page so that you can build that history with each other together. So uh, this were three tips that he shared with me today while getting the oil changed at the most unexpected place. Uh, and I always tell myself, you know, when we pray and it's like, God, give me wisdom today. God, give me understanding, great wisdom in me today. But because I saw that opportunity that God had placed me in, not to just sit here and be bored until they finish your Jeep, but have conversation, get to know people. And once I opened my mouth and started that conversation, like he downloaded, I told him like, you literally, Wow, like, I didn't finish that sentence, but what I was telling you guys is I told him, like, you literally tattooed something on my soul that I'll never forget. So I thanked him for his time. I thanked him for being open and sharing some of the things that he and his wife went through. And like I said, it was it was some valley moments. It was some tough times that they went through, but he was willing to be open uh, to share those things with me, all because I simply asked him for his advice. And what I learned is like, if you want to impress someone, talk about yourself. But if you want to connect with someone and have real and open, honest conversations, then talk about them. Ask them questions about themselves. And like I say, we all love to talk about ourselves and what we've been through. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. And also remember to follow me on my other social platforms to stay up to date with what we have going on. So thank you guys again and have a blessed day.